Ooh, new setup. Nice. All right, let's talk about NeoVim and uh, Helix a bit. So I have decided to switch to NeoVim and mainly because I follow a bunch of uh, really important people to me, which is uh, TJ DeVries and uh, the Primogen and uh, as a soft skill prior to that um, I used uh, Helix which is pretty much configured to the max to, to be like the most pleasant experience on your computer. Uh, as for new of them, well, to make it look decent and pretty much the same as uh, Helix, I went ahead and literally tried out new of uh, kickstart configuration. So if you search for effective new of instant IDE video and follow the repo, all right. You'll see that this is a Lua config, and what you literally do is, well, let me close NeoVim. All right, so um, what do I show? NVim bam dot con config NVim. All right, so there's a bunch of files in the root folder of this thing. And if you'll see in it Lua, some readme and Lua, whatever uh, folders, those are in here. So what they do is they set up NeoVim and a bunch of tools automatically for you to, to have a nice experience of, of modern editors, just like um, VS Code, right? And uh, if you have noticed, uh, the presentation of the NeoVim is different. It shows you a folder uh, of uh, your root project. And Helix on the start showed you like all the files that it could possibly sh uh, have in the root folder. Well, in, v in NeoVim kickstart configuration, uh, cool key binding um, is um, key map binding is leader key which is space s f and it's basically the same right i can see my main file and uh, i want to edit it right as as well as for helix i can do the same uh, and since helix and new vim are basically the same application uh, i can gd to go to definition of clear background and here gd go to the background the rust analyzer which is a separate application i had to install says everything is fine and if i want to close the buffer i guess it's bc yeah buffer close and for neovim it's bd for buffer and delete I guess. So Rust Analyzer is again helping me with a bunch of stuff. Uh, original, uh, here I'm going to some of the better things that I find in this particular configuration of NeoVim suits me best is code completion. So for example, yeah, lengths right uh, let's stop it in here and uh, on this portion yeah let's do the same thing o for new line and edit mode original point len as you can see this thing is a helix shows more stuff in here more stuff in here and it's kind of more intrusive to my liking it occupies way too much space and uh, sometimes I couldn't even write uh, my actual code because this thing is appearing on top of whatever I was doing. So NeoVim in a way is better for me as a code editor. Um, I want, so same uh, column V for write. Um, yeah. 
As for buffers, so currently I have several tabs, right? Um, so buffer picker is B for helix. There's only one if I GD for like opening a new tab or buffer space B. I can search for open buffers. All right, that's cool, but the same thing in um, NeoVM with this kickstart plugin. I can press space and the helper says, all right, there's possibility to press space again to see exactly the same thing. So if I go to draw rectangle lines and space space and I can search for main, bam, isn't that awesome? So if you have a question why does it matter then to switch to NeoVim if uh, Helix was suiting you better? Well, um, as an introvert, I find it important to be at least a portion of some community, right? And um, I believe NeoVim has better community and better hype and it's longer supported language, well, not language, um, longer supported editor and uh, I guess for me this is just better and I did start with Vim originally. Oh yeah, another annoying thing for key maps, well I know it could be reconfigured in Helix, but in Helix to jump from this paragraph to the next empty line for vertical navigation is closing a square bracket and pressing P goes forward, right? So from from this uh, space, uh, like empty line, I can open, uh, I can press open uh, square brackets and press P to go back and it's already highlighted. That could be useful if I wanted to press D to delete, but I don't delete that often and this is kind of in a way and pressing the bracket and P is a bit like, I don't know, as for Neo Vim and Vim, pressing shift and uh, like curly brace, uh, closing curly brace does the same and you know, it's two hands performing the task. So left hand is pressing the shift and the right hand is pressing either open, open or opening or closing brackets. So it's just a little thing that makes my, my simple workflow better. Same for pressing W to go forward one word and, or pressing B to go backward one word. All the simple stuff, right? Um, code completions are also nice. Uh, let's say, what will this do? So a space, um, C for this and A for code actions. Rewrite as raw string, whatever that does. I don't know what that does, but apparently Rust wanted it this way. Uh, I'm not gonna save it like that, but you know, I'm not actually sure how Helix does it. If I wanted to rename space, I guess R and N original points, um, I guess I could save it as points, point, um, a list, bam, renamed, and here, what was it, uh, space R immediately, right, R, lowercase, lowercase, where's R, yeah, renamed symbol, it's the same, uh, just re-edited or escaped to cancel. So, as for resources, uh, HX, Helix is not eating much, it's at 0 0.1 or 0 CPU and memory is 11 megabytes, but it's pristine, there's no plugins for it, right? Uh, it's like very, very clean and very, very minimal. 
which is why I used it in the first place. As for NVIM, it uses slightly more megabytes, like three times the size of, <laughs> of Helix. But it's frank to say that uh, NeoVim has more plugins installed already to look like that. But I guess I'm willing to sacrifice 20 megabytes more for like the extended ease of use of a community and uh, somehow community is important for me lately. And as Helix community grows, maybe I'll switch back. I mean, these are the same applications, but the core is different and this NeoVim configuration is just it's just another another hack thing that I decided to do because I had some spare time in here. The one thing I had to do actually to make my experience better was on init Lua. So if I search for format where was it? Was it this one? Format. Yeah. So I did uncomment this line to make my code auto format when I save. Uh, I guess in Helix, I wrote FMT alias to do that and I guess I could search for a um, specific command to, to auto format the code on, on save so that the setting would be saved but in the kickstart uh, thing uh, yeah I wrote this and uh, whenever I make a mistake and my formatting sucks whoops Ah, main. <clears throat> so if I do this, then on save, uh, it jumps back to a normal formatted, opinionated uh, format. So this is it. Um, so I'm saying for now, goodbye to Helix, and uh, further you will see me work on uh, rewrite in Rust of coding trains uh, dot query. Um, algorithm using using quad trees. So stay tuned, and uh, I hope you learn other editors as a soft skill. I certainly liked Helix. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's. Uh, I want to use something that has a bigger community and uh, more time on this planet. Uh, left so that so that I could get the better experience uh, whenever I need it. All right. So yeah, stay hard and ooh, new setup. Cheers.